Hey, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. This is the She's the Owner podcast. I'm your host, Kara McCarran, and this is episode 138. Um, and the title is Some of the Best Tips I've Learned So Far This Year. So if you're watching this on YouTube, hello, YouTube family. If you're listening to it on iTunes, Google Play, or Spotify, hello to the podcast universe also. So this this could be a two hour episode because there's probably a lot of things I'm forgetting, but I'm going to keep it short and sweet to four things that I've learned. Some of the best things I've learned this year so far. So number one, follow your instinct. Ladies, I talk about this all the time. It's so important. There's so many times where I have not followed my instinct and it ends up um, costing me either time, money, energy, a relationship, maybe who knows something though. So follow your instincts. And how do you know when your instincts are talking to you? Sometimes I get confused as like myself on, you know, is this instinct? Is this just something that I'm trying to, you know, I don't know if not manifest, but something I'm trying to make true when it's really not. And I find that if I'm doing that, that means I'm in my head. And so what I will do now that I know I will, you know, again, I'm always saying, ask questions, ask questions. That's the, the best advice I can give you is asking questions. Like, does this feel right to me? Does it, you know, does it sound right to me? But the feeling, so if I'm like stuck in, I don't know what to do, I will literally go into a meditation or I will literally like throw on some music. I'll start writing. I'll do something that's creative. That will help me really get the creative juices flowing. And, and then I just get quiet. Like I stop with all the noise, all the outside noise on like, this is going to work. That's not going to, I just get quiet. Like it's so important to just be still. And then oftentimes when you cut out the noise and cut out the clutter of your, of your mind of tiny mind in particular, then all of a sudden your instincts will kick in and your intuition will kick in and you'll get the answer. And I always do it like kind of like a physical gut check, right? Like, does this feel right for me? And then I just let it be. I don't rush to the answer. Um, sorry, I'm just going to move my brush out of the view there. <laughs> Second thing is do the uncomfortable. Like business is not meant to be comfortable. Otherwise everyone would do it. Being an entrepreneur is freaking hard. Um, it's amazing, but it's tough, right? Like, especially right now when we're all, you know, still working remotely and still like I, you know, I always, I've worked for myself at home for seven years. Um, so this isn't a new thing for me, but do the uncomfortable thing. Being an entrepreneur isn't easy. So it's like, do make the phone calls, do the lives. Like ladies, if you're a client, you know, I'm obsessed with you getting visible. You have to be visible. Otherwise you're, you're going to get cut out and no one's going to know what you do. So do the uncomfortable, right? Do the lives, do the podcast, do the thing that makes you uncomfortable. For me, uncomfortable is going to be like doing actual human public speaking. I'm cool with doing Zoom public speaking now, but you know, the next step is in person. Whenever the hell that becomes available, that's what's going to happen. Number three, have a mastermind. That is like the biggest tip of my life is having a mastermind, there is nothing like it. It is such an incredible place for support. It's a, it's an incredible place for knowledge, bouncing off ideas. Maybe you've got an idea for a new product or service, bounce it off your mastermind. If you don't have one, find one. I've got one. Um, I run them. I'm in them. I think they're one of the most incredible parts of business ownership. Uh, I've, you know, I highly recommend paid ones. I've been in free ones and they don't work they don't work because people don't show up. And if you've got, you know, six or seven people in a mastermind and four of them show up on a regular basis and the other three or whatever, don't, you can see how it starts to lose energy. You're not getting, you know, it's just, nobody's taking it seriously. And that's what I found in the free one. So paid ones. And the number five, this one, you're going to be like, Oh, I don't want to do it, but you have to do it. Do the inner work, the inner work. That is, the only way to success is to do the inner work period. Like there's no skipping it. You know, there's no, I know some women who, who've decided like they didn't want to do it at the time. And then what happens? They come back because they have to do it. You have to do it. You got to do the inner child work. You got to do the shadow work. Yes. It does affect your business period. End of story. Call it a day. That is that. 
There is no way around it. How does it affect your business life? Because if you have all the tools in the world, and I talk about this often um, on my lives or even in my coaching programs, but like if you have all the tools in the world, you're not going to pick up the tools. You're not going to do the click funnel. You're not going to do the landing page or the conversion events or the whatever, whatever. You're not going to do it if you've not done the inner work. Why? Because you don't feel worthy of it. Or maybe you don't feel like you deserve it. Or maybe you feel like you're stupid. There's a whole bunch of reasons why a person won't do the thing, but it all comes out in the inner work, inner child work, shadow work, like those things are critical for the success of your company. End of story. So do the inner work. So four tips again, follow your instincts, do the uncomfortable, have a mastermind or join a mastermind and do the inner work. Those are my four tips for the year so far. I mean, like I said, there's probably a gajillion more, but those are four that I really, um, that really have shifted this year for me. All right, guys, I will catch you on the next episode. Um, Please don't forget to leave me a review on iTunes. It really does help. And um, I love seeing all the feedback too. It's amazing. So if uh, you need me, you know where to find me. Have an awesome day, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.